Good morning and assalamu alaikum to all my sweet little cute friends and my students and whoever is watching this video right now. I hope you're all feeling great. You're super fantastic and enjoying your day, right? Are you all enjoying? That's great. So <clears throat> we are all very grateful that spring is here and there are so many colors all around and we can paint, we can go out sit in our lawn or maybe go to the park and looking at the flowers we can paint flowers <clears throat> observe many different colors and be grateful for all of these beautiful things right so this is our arts class and today we are going to do an activity on a very springy color and that is, I'm going to tell you later, right? Okay, so I'm just going to share a little video with you. This is not related to the colors specifically, but about the spring and colors, right? Okay, so I am just going to share that with you, with you, so you enjoy this, okay? Spring is here. Spring is here, the flowers, the trees, the birds and the bees. Spring is here, spring is here, everything is in bloom. The grass is green, the air is clean, the birds are singing a song. A warm spring day, all I can say, I wait for spring all year long. Spring is here, spring is here, the flowers, the trees, the birds and the bees. Spring is here. Spring is here, everything is in blue. Everything is in blue. Everything is in blue. Yay! So, everything is in blue. So, now I, I thought we did pink color in our numeracy class, so I am going to do something with that pink color to an activity. Make something pink with that, right? So what I did is with that pink color, I am going to mix some water in it, a little of water, just a few drops. Yes. Oh, that is more than a few drops. Okay, no problem. So I am going to make this and we will do hand painting today. What we are going to do, we are going to do hand painting today. Okay, so I am going to tell you that how we're going to do hand painting. Right, this is a hand. Okay, and now what we're going to do is we are going to first put the paint on our hand like this. Okay. Going to put the pink color on her hand. Okay, like this. See, I'm going to put all the pink color on my full hand. I'll just fill my hand like this. I'm going to show you. Well, I am going to complete this, right? And you can even do it at home but yes with the help of elders right okay so i'm painting my hand pink why because we are going to do hand painting okay we are going to do hand painting and once we have done it we are going to make something out of it, okay? So see, I'm painting my hat pink. Wow. You can even do it with paintbrush or you can make it in a plate and just put your hand in that. Make sure this does not spill. Your hands should not get <coughs> colored and yes do use an apron i'm sorry i don't have an apron right now but when you are doing this 
you should use this with April, right? So your mommy should be happy that you have not spoiled your clothes. See, she does so much for you. So you should also help her at least not doing your things dirty, not make them dirty, okay? Okay, now look at this. Now I have a pink can. Wow. This is not pink and this is pink. Okay. So I am just going to stamp my hand on the board, right? Now we have this board here. Now I am going to, because we're going to make two things today, right? So I am going to here like this. Uh, yes. I'm going to put my hand and I'm pressing it. So this will be, oh, no, I, I'll be needing a little more paint. This is not much. So, okay. Again. Okay. Looks good. right yes now this looks good better it should look like the hand right yeah okay we have made one hand we have printed one hand and now we are going to print another Maybe we'll be needing a little more of water in it. A little more. Yes. So I've mixed it with the water. And now I'm putting it on my hand again. Okay. We need three stamps of hands. So okay. So I'm done again. So we made one here and the other I'm going to make here. Yay, that's great. This is better. This is better. Okay, no problem, right? And now we need only one more hand print. Need one more hand print. And now we're going to make two different things with that, okay? Two different things with pink hand print, okay? So one is here. And now I'm going to put it over here like this, okay? Okay, that's great. See, now we have three hand prints. One is over here, which is a little bit, this has uh, no problem, right? So now I'm going to show you what we can make out of these prints, right? For that, you have to wait a little, right? Okay. Yes. So we did three hand paintings, uh, hand prints. Now I have washed my hands. Right, and now we have here, we have one uh, hand print. I'm sorry, this is a little bit, this is not as good as this. Okay, no problem. Now we will be needing a brush and let's see what we can make with this, right? Now we are going to make, yeah, here, Mm. Can anybody guess what is it? We did this in sound. Sound. Now, can anybody tell me what is this? Anybody? What is this? You cannot guess it. Okay, no problem. 
Just a minute. Just a minute. Okay. So this is it. And now what do we need is a bold marker. We are going to make the legs. Okay. And we're going to make a beak over here. We're going to color like this. And we're going to make a dot over here. Oh, this does not show them. What does it look like? Doesn't this look like a flamingo? Yay! This looks like a flamingo. That's great. Okay, now have a look at the second picture. Here we can just draw. Oh, here and here. My marker isn't working. So here and here and then yeah. does this look like a little butterfly? You can even paint it black over here, but like I can't because this is wet right now. You can make a body over here like this and you make the yeah here. So this is a pink butterfly and this is a pink flamingo yay so you can practice at home by just hand painting and making this on a piece of paper paper or maybe if you have a board you can make it on that don't make it on the walls or anywhere else use the board or some paper or a drawing book right nobody's going to write or paint on the walls, maybe mm, anywhere, outside the walls, inside the walls, maybe on the mirror, no. You're not going to use any other thing. You should use a paper, you should a board, or maybe your drawing book, nothing else, right? So you can even give it a try to make a flamingo and a butterfly, right? So this was our arts class today, and I'm going to say goodbye from this class. And we'll see each other in the next class. Till then, stay safe, be happy, and be grateful. Enjoy yourself. Bye-bye. See you soon.